Hatchety is here from Rotten Tomatoes. He gets to see all the great movies and then tell us what's worth our time. I also get to see all the bad movies. That's right. Uh -oh. And I think, we're starting, I think yeah. we're starting with Doesn't one Doesn't sound good. Not no, so you know, it'll come as no surprise that the critics don't like the latest Anna Sandler movie, sadly. Pixels. So Pixels is a sci-fi movie, uh, and the premise is that aliens have intercepted transmissions from the 80s and have decided to attack the Earth using video game characters. Mm. I like the concept. Well, tell me what's more unbelievable, either that or Kevin James as president. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he's playing the president. Yeah, he's playing the president. <laughs> and if his... it were him and Donald Trump, I'd go Kevin James. I'm <laughs> telling you right now. <laughs> so Kevin James plays the president here, and his best friend is this Geek Squad type character uh, you know, who installs stereos and home theater systems, played by Adam Sandler, who peaked early in life because he was a video game champion uh. and gets called on to save the world. Now, this is a pretty bad movie, and what's frustrating about this, where the critics really come down on it, is they say that the directing by Chris Columbus is actually okay. Hmm. This is a movie that has good production values. It looks good, the action's done pretty well because Chris Columbus who gave us Home Alone and gave sure. us the oh, yes, first couple of Harry course. Potter movies, knows how to direct an action sequence. So when they're driving around New York with Pac-Man, the giant Pac-Man, yeah. and they've got the cards, that's exciting. Is, is it the script? There's potential. And then somebody says something. Oh. And it just all falls apart. You mean they, they act? Well, it's then... not just the acting. Like, you've got good actors here. You've got Josh Gad and Peter Dinklage yeah. and Michelle Monaghan. But it just goes to really bring into laser focus how bad this so script is. So who is this movie for? Is it PG-13? I think it's 13? for kids. I think it's for kids. My 11-year-old liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, Christy Lemire's, uh, f her son Nick loved it. Yeah. So At what point does Adam Sandler go do Happy Gilmore 2 or Billy Madison 2? Right, but he's, how do you do that story? Like Billy Madison goes to, well, I know, but goes I mean, and gets his master's? He's, he's like, had some misses <laughs> recently. Back to school. Back yeah. to school. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, I feel like people are really turning on Adam Sandler you know, lately. And, and here's the thing. I think Adam Sandler is hilarious, and I would love to see him start doing good movies again. Mm. But you get a sense in this movie that you know you see his cast of characters that he brings in to show up and kind of just mess around. Yeah. And you're thinking, come on, man, like get back to work, like yeah. be hungry again, do something good. What's funny about the uh, the younger audience who they're going for? These '80s characters probably don't mean a whole lot. Yeah. To them. They don't resonate. Yeah. Yeah. They mean <laughs> right. something to us. Right. I mean, I think similar. You're going to have something a little bit similar to what happened with A Team a few years back. Like this movie gets, you know, They're A Team like, gets brought Mr. back. Who's Mr. T? And, right. Exactly. Like, <laughs> right. Uh, who is this movie for? So I think that's going to have a problem here. And the movie's rotten at 19. percent Okay. Now, so next up is Southpaw. I know you guys talked to Jake Gyllenhaal yesterday. Yes. Uh, he's very good in this, and the whole cast is really good. He's good. Rachel McAdams is great. Fifty Cent is good. Forrest Whitaker puts in a knockout performance. I feel like there's as a butt always. coming. Naomi Harris is in this, and the young girl, Una Lawrence, that plays Jake and Rachel's daughter, mm -hmm. is fantastic. This is a very emotional movie. It's very melodramatic. Oh, but, but probably about 20, 25 minutes too long, mm -hmm. and it kind of hits this okay. dour note and stays there. And so it doesn't really let up. And so the critics are split on this. Where, where everybody agrees is that the performance are really good, and it is emotionally moving. But the critics that don't like it, and I'm kind of on their side, is this movie pummels you and never lets up, and it kind of becomes this slog. And by the end of it, you're thinking, okay, can we get, can you let up a little it's bit? It's missing the light and shade. That yeah, film and I think yeah. that, that, you know, tragedy and drama work better when you lighten the mood and then you hit somebody harder. This one never lets up. Right. You know, it's a, it's a good story. It's this champion boxer played by Jake Gyllenhaal who literally loses everything in his life and has to fight his way back to redemption. Yeah. We know this story. I, I can sum up the problem with this movie in really quick and say, no movie needs a second training montage, mm. right? That's yeah. like right? One's that's the 20 right. minutes right there. Right, exactly. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the problem. All so right. that's all right. I think we have time for, nope. No, that's, that's it. That's, 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 oh, okay. we're gonna get from that Only the bad that's it. Only the bad I movies. know. Not a well, good weekend you. for but the last movies. last week was good, so it was hard to. No, and no. next weekend's gonna be a good weekend. Next weekend's gonna be good, but Paper Towns and, and Unexpected are in theaters. Those yeah. are fresh, check those out. Next weekend's gonna be a good one. I got a good one to talk about next week. All right, we'll see you then. Hey, Lee.